хорошее настроение у всех, мотивированы все. Естественно, после поражения в Красноярске более злые. И, естественно, летим в Испанию, знаем, что это очень агрессивная команда с хорошим составом. И будем биться, потому что там ребята будут бежать, бить, бросать со всех позиций. Так что очень агрессивная команда, и, собственно, разбираем их. И с хорошим настроем и верой в себя едем. We play a tough road game. It's a debut uh, uh, in Euroleague. We know what means Euroleague. Euroleague means that uh, uh, we're getting into the marathon. Euroleague means that each and every game is uh, like a final. Everybody has uh, high expectations. Uh, and uh, we are uh, still in the process of uh, you know, getting together and becoming a real team. That doesn't mean we're not going to give our fights. That doesn't mean we're not going to go over there to, to find our solutions to, to win the game. What we have seen so far, and we watched a lot of games, is that uh, Valencia has a high tempo, uh, given by their guards, but also supported by their bigs. They got a big lineups uh, all the time, and very athletic team. Uh, can use many, many different uh, uh, shims, uh, and uh, tough game. I want to say that, that uh, it would be nice if we would have, as a rule, the EuroLeague champion to play the first game, the opening game at home, and the EuroLeague to make a ceremony, for instance, put up the banner. Whoever is going to be the EuroLeague champion, doesn't matter now, it's us, whoever. Give the rings or also whatever to make uh, like also in NBA they do. But we are, in, in both cases, uh, when we were European champion, we, we had to play on the road the Euro Cup winner. One time it was Galatasaray, and now it's Valencia. Oh,